Hello and welcome to today's video, where we will explore the science behind tsunamis. Tsunamis are one of the most powerful and destructive natural phenomena that can occur on Earth. But what are they, how do they form, and what can we do to protect ourselves from them? Let's find out. A tsunami is a series of ocean waves that send surges of water, sometimes reaching heights of over 100 feet 30.5 meters onto land these walls of water can cause widespread destruction when they crash ashore the word tsunami comes from the japanese language and means harbor wave because they often cause the most damage near the shore A tsunami is usually caused by a large, undersea earthquake at tectonic plate boundaries. When the ocean floor at a plate boundary rises or falls suddenly, it displaces the water above it and launches the rolling waves that will become a tsunami. Most tsunamis, about 80%, happen within the Pacific Ocean's Ring of Fire, a geologically active area where tectonic shifts make volcanoes and earthquakes common. Tsunamis may also be caused by underwater landslides or volcanic eruptions. They may even be launched, as they frequently were in Earth's ancient past, by the impact of a large meteorite plunging into an ocean. Tsunamis race across the sea at up to 500 miles kilometers, per hour, about as fast as a jet airplane. At that pace, they can cross the entire expanse of the Pacific Ocean in less than a day. And their long wavelengths mean they lose very little energy along the way. In deep ocean, tsunami waves may appear only a foot or so high. But as they approach the coast, they slow down and increase in height due to the shallower water depth. The tops of the waves move faster than their bottoms do, which causes them to rise precipitously. A tsunami's trough, the low point beneath the wave's crest, often reaches shore first. When it does, it produces a vacuum effect that sucks coastal water seaward and exposes harbor and sea floors. This retreating of sea water is an important warning sign of a tsunami, because the wave's crest and its enormous volume of water typically hit shore five minutes or so later. Recognizing this phenomenon can save lives. A tsunami is usually composed of a series of waves, called a wave train, so its destructive force may be compounded as successive waves reach shore. People experiencing a tsunami should remember that the danger may not have passed with the first wave and should await official word that it is safe to return to vulnerable locations. The first wave may not be the largest or the most dangerous. Some tsunamis do not appear on shore as massive breaking waves but instead resemble a quickly surging tide that inundates coastal areas. The impact of a tsunami depends on several factors, such as the magnitude and location of the disturbance, the shape and depth of the ocean floor, the distance and direction of travel, and the topography and elevation of the coastline. Some areas are more prone to tsunamis than others, especially those near tectonic plate boundaries where earthquakes and volcanic activity are more frequent. Tsunamis can be very deadly and unpredictable. Between 1998 to 2017, tsunamis caused more than 250,000 deaths globally, including more than 227,000 deaths due to the Indian Ocean tsunami in 2004. This was one of the deadliest natural disasters in recorded history. The Indian Ocean tsunami was triggered by a magnitude 9.1 earthquake off the coast of Sumatra, Indonesia. It generated waves up to 30 meters high that struck 14 countries in Asia and Africa. It also displaced millions of people and caused widespread damage to infrastructure, livelihoods, and ecosystems. Other notable tsunamis in history include the 2011 Tohoku earthquake and tsunami in Japan, which killed over 15,000 people and triggered a nuclear meltdown at Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. 
The 1960 Valdivia earthquake and tsunami in Chile, which was the largest earthquake ever recorded with a magnitude of 9.5. It caused waves up to 25 meters high that reached Hawaii, Japan, and the Philippines. The 1755, Lisbon earthquake and tsunami in Portugal, which destroyed most of the city and killed tens of thousands of people. It also affected the coasts of Spain, Morocco, and Ireland. The best defense against any tsunami is early warning that allows people to seek higher ground. The Pacific Tsunami Warning System, a coalition of 26 nations headquartered in Hawaii, maintains a web of seismic equipment and water level gauges to identify tsunamis at sea. It also issues alerts and advisories to the public and authorities. Other regions, such as the Indian Ocean, the Caribbean, and the Mediterranean, have also developed or are developing their own tsunami warning systems. However, warning systems are not enough to prevent casualties and damages. People also need to be educated and prepared for tsunamis. They need to know the signs and warnings of a possible tsunami, such as a strong or long-lasting earthquake, a sudden rise or fall of the sea level, or a loud roaring sound from the ocean. They also need to know what to do in case of a tsunami, such as moving to higher ground or inland away from the coast, staying away from the water until it is safe to return, and following the instructions of authorities. Moreover, coastal communities need to adopt measures to reduce their vulnerability and enhance their resilience to tsunamis. These include Developing land use plans and building codes that avoid or limit construction in high-risk areas. Constructing protective structures such as seawalls, breakwaters, or mangrove forests that can reduce the impact of waves. Restoring and conserving natural ecosystems such as coral reefs, wetlands, and dunes that can buffer the coast from erosion and flooding. Establishing evacuation routes and shelters that are accessible and safe. Conducting drills and exercises that simulate tsunami scenarios and test the response capacity of communities and authorities. Tsunamis are rare but devastating events that can affect millions of people around the world. Scientists are constantly studying and monitoring tsunamis to better understand their causes and effects, and to improve their prediction and prevention methods. By learning more about the science behind tsunamis, we can also be better prepared and protected from their potential harm. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more interesting and educational videos. See you next time.